Hello everyone, it's Cress aka Taka, and it is time for a haul video for the last two weeks. It is October 28th. Some of this is state sale finds, some of it's thrift store finds, and some of it's church bazaar finds. So uh, today is Matt Smith's birthday, who's the 11th Doctor, so I wear my Mario dressed up as the 11th Doctor shirt. Um, it's also animation day, so it kind of goes with that too. So I got a bunch of jewelry and some other things, and not all the jewelry was at the actual church bazaar today, although that was St. Peter's Bazaar is the one you go for jewelry. All right, so the only thing I got today that was in the rummage sale section of the bazaars was this cute little purple daisy and button glass top hat, toothpick holder. Uh, it's not chipped or anything, I only paid a quarter. So, kind of pretty. And then my only Salvation Army find this week, actually, was for a buck, two Gregorian copper and acrylic uh, candle holders or candlesticks. And uh, they do say do not ignite. They're for decor only. So I actually have one of these in a copper candle holder where I haven't found the other one. I thought it might show up the next week and it's just sitting there. And then I actually have one of these the same size that was from my mom's collection. So it looks like they had it, one of them still got the residue of the adhesive to hold it into one, but couldn't resist that. Then I got this at St. Vinny's in Marquette for a dollar fifty, And I thought it was interesting because I never have seen a plush cow parade before. It's normally figurines. I've sold a few of those before. So I thought I'd give this a go. This one looks like he's grocery shopping. Um, I think it's, uh, the title is not, not just for beef is the actual title of this one. Let's see more than just meat. So they got like broccoli and lemons and watermelon and carrots and teapots and teacups and all sorts of things on him. And I think I looked it up last week when I found it. So let's see if I can give you some other, the last one one is listed for 20 with free shipping so i mean i can make my dollar 50 back and then on the count theme at the estate sale we drove 17 miles one way for because they had a village collection for sale and then wanted even 25 dollars for a small building that was 40 years old that wasn't a collectible one uh <laughs> they had some reasonable prices on some of them but some of them were just like no and you don't have the boxes so we went because dad thought he'd pick up some for his village collection and we left with just three items none of them village so for 50 cents i grabbed one of these uh cow uh creamers uh from whirly industries i've sold a couple of these before i've also sold the sippy cup one before um i picked up for a dollar this beautiful studio nova shell bowl and then for 75 cents, I picked up this uh, Lusterware wall pocket with these pretty birds, with these long tails, very Art Nouveau feeling. Um, so that's all the uh, hard goods I got. The rest is jewelry. And I'll start with the pieces that weren't at the sale today. So. I paid three for this lizard guy, uh, mainly because he had like this giant head thing and kind of remind me of jelly belly pieces and those tend to sell well, um, but it's definitely not real diamond or anything, but it's rhinestone. I don't think I saw a brand on it, but it's still cute and adorable. And then today for $2 at Goodwill, I picked up what I thought was just an owl pin and it will get sold immediately because I, of course, could not test this in the store, but it turns out it is a Vanda brooch owl with solid perfume inside. So like, okay, you can see he's this cute owl with these green eyes. And it turns out he's a scented thing. <laughs> so, uh, I don't generally buy scented things, so he will go up for sale first. He is going to be the first one listed probably in this evening. Uh, just 
and he will stay permanently in this little Ziploc other than for pictures because I'm not going to kill myself on it. And then I guess we'll stick with pins and that. So they say this is a tie tack. I paid 50 cents for it. It's just this cute little like geese flying, probably made of pewter. It's not marked at all. I just thought it was kind of cute. If nothing else for 50 cents, I could put it in my pin collection. And then similarly for a dollar 50, I haven't looked this one up at all yet. I haven't even, I didn't even look to see if it was marked at all. It's a cute little rhinestone spider, which felt appropriate for Halloween time. And then my real splurge for $4, I think this is the most expensive piece I bought, Pluto official Disney pin. And I haven't looked him up or anything yet. I figured if nothing else, he'd go on my thing <laughs> of pins. But if he happens to sell well, I'll probably list him. And then I haven't looked these up yet, but they were only 50 cents. They're a pair of earrings of cheetahs. And there does seem to be a little mark, but it's so freaking tiny. I'm probably going to have to take my glasses off and possibly use a magnifying glass. But again, any animal themed item I sell, a portion of that sale goes to an animal charity. I then had a little bit of an Egyptian theme going. First, I grabbed this Reed and Barton for $2 and it has its original case. And it is this Pharaoh pendant pin it's on a chain but it's also a pin um i don't see a silver marking offhand but it is in the original box it's marked reed and barton on there there's a couple of on ebay right now for 25 and 30 without the box so i think i can get my two dollars back and then for $1.50, I got these earrings that are actually clip-on earrings, and they definitely look Egyptian bird. Man, that does not want to focus on that at all, does it? Those colors are not focusing. Um, but there is a marking on the back. The problem is um, the uh, line to attach it went right through the marking. So it's going to take me a bit to discern what that marking really is. And then... I don't think this is brand named or anything, but for $2.50, I picked up this Ankh because it has a scarab in the middle. Stay still. Which is technically the equivalent of Cancer the Crab in their zodiac, so which is my sign. And then it's got like Nefertiti possibly as the image. And then my my two interesting finds. So this one, she's like, I made sure it stay in a box because it's really fragile. Don't drop it. And it's this beaded stone onyx looking thing with like, like an Aztec deity type symbol engraved in it. Don't know how well you can see that, but it's marked made in Mexico with Prompelsa, Promepsa. And a little uh, chess piece mark, so I figure I can look that up pretty well. This I believe I paid two fifty four, and then my total for jewelry at the sale was seventeen. This one I paid two fifty four, which it's definitely not my style, you know. So it'd be it's definitely a statement piece, um, but it's this gold tone and green cabochons thing and I, I risked it because there's this itty bitty tiny little label here that says Gross Germany. Now I've only looked up the name briefly and the one thing I could find immediately which had cabochons which is different sold for 200 so I'm hopeful I, I'm not gonna be mad if this isn't a $200 piece if this turns out to be made of real gold or something but it's definitely worth the investigation to learn something about the jewelry. Um, I initially picked it up because I thought it was going to fit that uh, Egyptian theme because I had sold a 
belts that looked a lot like this. And when you got up close, these were scarabs, but these ones aren't. But I figure this is quite the statement piece going on uh, for your uh, thing. All right. Well, even though that was two weeks of stuff, only 10 minutes of video, um, down below in the description, you'll find my links for my Trash Couture Treasure stores on Etsy and eBay. I do sell some stuff on Macari, but uh, in general, I don't link the whole store because they're weird like that at Macari. Um, if you see something you wanted from this video, just message me below and I'll let you know if it got listed and where it got listed. All right. Thanks.